Okay, can y'all hear me okay now? Let me know if y'all can hear me in the comments. I see that Diane has made it in. Hey, Diane, let me know. I'm going to go ahead and go through the names, but let me know if you guys have a recipe. So by the time I get down there, I'll know if you guys plan on sharing a recipe today. So hello, Diane. Kristen is here. Thanks for coming in, Kristen. T1000 is here. Hey, T1000. Uh, let's see. Uh, Diane, okay, everybody's speaking to each other. Beautifully Healed is here. Okay, she promised us a re recipe. I think it was a soup. Serenness is here. Okay, so y'all drop in the chat. If any of the people who are already here, I see that y'all speaking and everything. I don't know if y'all got that out yet or not. But if you haven't gotten it out, then you still can uh, go ahead and speak. But if you guys have a recipe that we talked about on, uh, what's my last live? I think it was my last live that we talked about sharing. So Beautifully Healed, Diane, Kristen, Sorette. Did y'all get those recipes ready? Y'all can do it. Let me, uh, T1000, were you in that live? I don't know, but hopefully you'll have one to share too. Let's see. Shalanda is here. Shalanda, let me drop the link for you. Shalanda from Heal and Thrive. Let me put this in here. The High Stepper. Oh, I always have a problem pasting this in here. It's here because so, she's here to help us share some recipes. She promised that she would come onto the panel. Okay, you should have it right in there. Shalanda, come up when you're ready. Mavado, hi, Mavado. She said, hey, y'all, I'm in the bushes uh, working and listening. Okay, Mavado. Okay, Shalanda, let me know if you see that link. When I see you backstage, I'll bring you up. So I don't know if y'all got a chance to type something out of y'all notes so y'all can copy and paste it. Or I dropped the link for Shalanda and anyone else who wants to come up. So if it's easier, if y'all going to be like me and show y'all recipe in the book and then y'all can screenshot it, y'all can do it that way too. So the link is for anybody who wants to come up and share anything, a tip about healthy eating or recipes. That's up to y'all. So I didn't see anybody in the comments yet say that they have a recipe to share. And we were supposed to be sharing some recipes. I got a couple. I know Shalanda has a couple. But y'all were supposed to have y'all's too. Y'all got to do better. Y'all got to do better. Let's see. Shalanda, I'm still waiting on you. That is too funny. Y'all got crickets in here. Y'all got crickets in here. That is too funny. How was y'all day today? I had a, uh, it was, here it's rainy. I heard it's rainy a lot of places, but it's rainy. So it's kind of, well, very cloudy. So I just woke up this morning. I went to go do water aerobics. Like I mentioned on my last live, my mom and I went out to, um, her favorite restaurants for um, lunch. And so I kind of came home, <clears throat> excuse me, and chilled a little bit and got right on with you guys. <laughs> so I said she was excited to steal the recipes. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. Krista says she has one and she's going to post it in a minute. Okay. Okay, T1000. T1000. I'm thinking she's getting on Krista. She's getting on Sorrest and she just came to steal them. Okay. Some people came to share. Some people came to just get some recipes. That's fine. Krista said exhausted. We went to, uh, oh, Great Wolf Lodge for spring break. Nice. I never know. When, yeah, spring break is around Easter. I never know when it is because my kids are grown and I homeschool my grandkids. We don't go by a traditional schedule, so I sometimes we're kind of confused when that break is, but I forgot that it's uh around Easter time. Hello, life of Abdul. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for coming back. Uh Ceres said, uh, everyone hit the like. Uh, oh wait. What did you say, Sorette? What are you saying, Sorette? Is that, did you type that the right way? Let's see, 2000 said, Mom is beautiful. Saw you live from earlier. Thank you, T1000. Thanks for catching the replay, too. She is so funny, y'all. I'll be having to, like, when she is in the room, because my mother will say anything. So it's like, 
Ma, I'm about to go live. They can hear everything that you say. <laughs> you won't be able to see them. You'll just be able to, um, it's kind of like FaceTime. I said, but you're able to see us when we FaceTime in the chat, in the group chat. Uh, but these will be um, uh, subscribers that's in the um, in the chat, and then you can talk back and forth to them. So I'm like, hold on, be careful about what you say, because my mama will let me and y'all have it in a minute. So I have to kind of school her a little bit before she get on camera. She's something else, y'all. Let's see. Uh, Chris has said, oh, butter make it taste better. Okay, that's what Serena said. Yes. Butter does make everything better, but I've been trying to stay away from so much butter. Uh, it's just an add salt. Lord, to 1,000, do you use salt a lot? I literally only use salt on guacamole. It's I got like three or four things that I have to have salt on. Okay, Shalanda is here. Hey, Shalanda. Hey, I'm trying. I hear echo. Hold on just a second. Okay. Let's see. Is anybody else having echo? Oh, I see, Joseph. Okay, okay. I think we good. You had it. Okay, okay, good, good. I would just okay. say hi to everybody. Josephine is in. Hello, Josephine. Yes. Up oh, two thousand says she's guilty about putting that salt on that food. Two thousand salt alone. <laughs> yes, it's nothing good for you. Let me it's tell you a story about my dad and the salt. He. Oh, everybody say hi to you, Shalada. My dad is hey, go to a restaurant. <laughs> And the rest, the food could come. First thing he does, I'm like, Daddy, you didn't even taste it. You have no idea if you want that salt. I know I don't like my food fresh. He called it fresh. If it was <laughs> salt, it was called fresh. So he would put that. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. So when he got um, to be, because he uh, had kidney failure. So when he got to be where I could kind of like force him to do some stuff, as soon as we sat down at the table, I grabbed that salt, put it over there. And was like, no, if you want to eat no salt, you do not need that salt. He just had it in his mind that he needed salt. Yeah. <laughs> ah. And once you acquire that taste, it's kind of hard to get away from. You got to kind of wean yourself away from it. Oh, Diane says she put salt on all her food, too. For all of you that are in the chat. Okay, first, let's welcome Shalada. Shalada, thanks so much for coming to share the recipes with us. You're welcome. <laughs> I have invited other people if they want to come up and share if it's easier for them to just put it on the screen and let people screenshot it versus put it in the uh, chat. I offer that as an option, too. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Diana said, good evening, Shalanda. Christina said, good How evening. How are you? <laughs> yes. So, yes. Oh, my, my gosh. It's so hot. Mm. My recipes are so long. I'm having to really kind of like put them in a put them in the group okay. or you know how I done it for the members only. Yeah. Um but I wanted to um kind of um share some tips. Okay. On healthy eating. Okay. Now now here's the thing with me. Mm -hmm. Everybody know when I first came out, I was doing my thing. I was like um <clears throat> walking every day exercising mm -hmm. and stuff like that but you know as time goes on and on you know <laughs> like right now i'm in a situation to where and i'm having to help one of my siblings mm -hmm. so i would say that i eat um at least 50 percent of you know how i'm supposed to eat versus mm -hmm. how i was eating back then right so um so basically what what i um came into was um low carb mm -hmm. that's how i used to um so i would watch my carb intake mm -hmm. um and a lot of people that know me um on here they do know that i uh that i uh have spoken about um me having bariatric surgery mm -hmm. Um, I had bariatric surgery in 2021. Okay. Um, I had, you know, situations to wherein I had to um to to lose the weight, you know, with the the cancer um right, situation right. and things of that nature. Okay. So I would try all types of remedies back in the days, like Jenny Craig and all of that stuff like that, and it never would work. Right. So um so. 
you know, when my doctor, he spoke, he was like, you know, you need to get this weight up off you. So I asked him, you know, can I have the surgery or whatever? So mm -hmm. he was like, yeah, but you still going to have to work. Right. So when he put me, um, when he put me in, you know, um, in line for the surgery, he, um, he put me on a low carb diet. And I was like, huh, that's not going to work. He said, yes, it is. Right. When I, um, when I started um, watching my carb intake, mm -hmm. when I say I went down like so quick, it was like, oh, my God, I was going right. down quick. Right. And um, basically, um, it's basically just watching your carb intakes. Like, you don't have to cut out you know, everything, you know, that um, you don't have to cut out everything that you, well, what you do need to do is with that salt situation, I'm going to get them in that chat talking about that salt. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Leave that salt alone. There mm -hmm. is this herbal thing called no salt with herbs. I need okay. for you guys to go and find that in the store. That is just like salt. It's it's not just like salt, but it's like it's like a substitute, and mm -hmm. you you wouldn't tell the difference. Yeah, I pulled, the I difference. pulled back from uh, salt probably about ten years ago, but I literally found that if I use other herbs, it really did season the food well enough that I didn't need the salt. When I started, when I put, when I stopped doing garlic salt and did garlic powder, stopped doing onion salt and did onion powder or um, uh, other herb herbal um, blends or curry or whatever it was that was herbal, I didn't, I never felt the need for salt. Now I have to have a exactly. salt on, uh, avocados. I, like I was saying before you came on, it's like three things I have to have salt on because I just have to get like that taste. But right. it's very few things that I put salt on. I just never use salt. My salt literally lasts me about a year in the cabinet. Wow. Yeah, it, me too. I, I have it just if you know, like if I have like company and yeah. they say, Well, can I use the salt? Yeah, right. sure. I got I got it's up there. I don't right. I don't use it. I don't. Right. So basically what I got into is like herbalizing my food, like right. um, like mm -hmm. urban it up, like yes. um, doing other types of seasonings. Go to the farmer's market, look yes. and go on that seasoning aisle. Yeah. Go on the seasoning now. Get you some some seasonings without salt. Yeah. If you if you what do you call it? Um, marinate your meats. You could also marinate your um your vegetables. Mm -hmm. You know, like I used to do um spaghetti uh spaghetti squash. You mm -hmm. know, spaghetti yeah. squash. So like it's and you I'm telling you um the the regular kind of squash the regular kind of zucchini you can curry it up you yeah. could you know you could put onions in it garlic in it Mm -hmm. It's ways that you could get around using that salt. Yes, because most people who use salt, they are normally like a salt and pepper kind of person. It's like salt and pepper. And it's and I I didn't branch out into seasons like that till about 10 years ago. But now I literally at all times have at least 50 different seasons in my seasoning cabinet because I don't eat meat. I do have to see because vegetables just like meat is both of them are very bland if you don't season it. So mm -hmm. vegetables are the same way as with meat. You just really have to really season it. And with meat, yeah. it's really the season, the season that you're um yearning for. So if you acquire, you don't even really have to acquire a taste. If you probably, if I cooked the steak for somebody, they probably wouldn't even realize no salt was on there because when you use those other herbal substitute, not even a substitute, mm -hmm. herbs, you will not miss the uh, salt. People you won't salt in their mind. That's what I think. <laughs> they have their use to that salt and that's just what they go with because they haven't brushed out to see the benefits of those other herbs. That's what I think. Yes, herbalize your food. Oh my God! Like I really need to kind of get um get a little live together um to to like put herbs and and I like that what you said earlier. You're um someone who you know make you up uh, um seasonings and things mm -hmm. of that oh, nature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, and and just make sure you marinate it. You right. know what I'm saying? That'll give it that taste accent. Mm -hmm. Um, garlic powder, 
um the uh, you said everything that i was going to talk oh, about yeah yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> you, yep. yes yes no indeed people, yo. T1000 so, says she doesn't use box salt. She mostly uses it with seasoning salt. But T1000 seasoning salt has a lot of salt. If you look at your seasoning salt, salt yeah. right now, T1000, yeah. the first ingredient, you guys know when you read a label. I'm going to do another live on labels. But um, when you look at a label, the first things that are, uh, like the first thing that's in that ingredient list, that's the, how, that's, that means that's the most of the, the product. So if it's salt first, it's got mostly salt. If it has garlic powder next or onion powder uh next it's going to be like if it's if it's salt garlic powder onion powder that means it's mostly salt a little bit less garlic powder a little bit less of that and onion powder so it goes in order of how much is in there if you go to your seasoning right now i promise i will be very surprised if salt is not the first ingredient in that yeah. so it's like they say seasoning salt that's because they added the things to it but most of the time salt is the main ingredient you can get all purpose seasonings with no salt. Mm -hmm. You get that same flavor with no salt in it. So you can buy it that way. Yes. Mrs. Dash, garlic herbs. Yes. Um, let's see. I've told you all about the no salt herbal um, seasoning. And let's see. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, and I wanted to also let you all know about if you feel like you have to fry foods, um, I think you should do baking or pan sear. And when you pan sear, you should use, I myself use coconut oil or mm -hmm. I'll use olive oil, cooking mm -hmm. olive oil. You right. gotta branch out, leave what you used to do, what, what, what you grew up off of, right. <laughs> leave it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not um, the big of a difference. Once you do it, it's really not the big of a difference. Right. It's really not. And you can't really tell, you know, um, I would say, uh, let's see, coconut or olive oil and um, do a low carb um, diet. There's this one young lady on YouTube. She has very, very, very great recipes and her name is Low Carb love l o v e okay. okay low l o w carb c a r b love l o v e and yeah. she take everyday foods that you already eat mm -hmm. and she 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 hook it up and mm -hmm. it's low carb and you yeah. lose it you lose the weight yeah <laughs> that's what you're trying to do right you and i want to piggyback on diane the air fryer like i air fry almost everything it's very if i don't need and i've heard that you can bake in the air fryer but i haven't tried it but unless i'm trying to bake something i do very minimal baking probably a couple times a year i don't even use the oven unless i'm doing like i don't know it's just like maybe like a back mac baked macaroni and cheese and that's like for holidays or something like that but right. i use my air fryer even for warming food up like literally my son took my microwave out of my house he was determined i think it was back in like 2019 he took our microwave out of the house and i have not used the microwave since 2019 if i have to warm everything anything up i put it in there whatever i cook whether it's fish or brussels sprouts or my zucchini or uh, chips that i uh, try to eat instead of potato chips whatever i eat i literally want and if it's something i need to warm up i don't care if it might be spaghetti i don't care what it is i want i cook and warm yeah. my air fryer mm -hmm. yeah i'm looking for my um my uh what do you call it my salmon um recipe you could you could finish talking but i'm look i want to give you you guys this okay. this is a small recipe that i possibly could put in the chat okay but otherwise i'm going to make what i have available for you know everyone like i've already put um put a um a week a week plan Mm -hmm. um in the in rita's um uh uh her well, chat thing her, her facebook group yeah. yeah her facebook group and then i also put something on my page for my members right but, but i'm still going to show it to my subscribers because you guys are just as important yeah. as everybody else yeah so yeah right so I'm looking for my little okay so let me read some of the comments uh t1000 so i can believe that because you can't use you can't use much of the season salt right t1000 um let's see uh diane said i air fry 
I air fry all my food, uh, no frying anything. I, I rarely fry something. I really, I, sometimes I, when I, I don't like the way my egg rolls come out. When I make egg rolls, I don't like the way they come out in the air fryer, but I, I can blame myself because my best friend already told me that I should be using um, a cooking spray or like a cooking uh, mm -hmm. olive oil spray and it'll brown yep. it the way I need it to be deep fried. So mm -hmm. I need to really um, try that next time. Uh, or Diane said she does that or she bakes it. Sorette said, yes, air fryer is good. Jennifer said, where's Ace? Ace is at his dad's house. Let's see, Beautiful Hill said, I'm, I'm starting to try to warm up food. Yeah, in the air fryer, because it really takes a minute. It's not even like it takes, like, I know something you warm up on the stove might take five minutes. If you pop it in the microwave, it might take one minute. Air fryer may take, like, two minutes because it really warms really fast. But once you get into the habit of it, you'll fall out of that microwave um, habit that you have. And they have, like, liners. I use the air fryer liners. They're, they look like parchment paper a little bit. So I don't care what it is that I warm up. I put it in there. Now, you can't leave it. Don't put it in there and start, start thinking you can do five minutes for warming up. After about two or three minutes, you have to check it because it'll start burning some stuff if you leave it in there because it does come in at a high heat. And I kind of got mine set up on 400, so that's probably why mine is so high. Sometimes I guess I could um, put it down to like 325 for warming, but um, use those parchment paper um, little pieces mm -hmm. because um, you know, that you warm it up in there, you put it on your plate, throw the paper out. It just works better for me. I don't like putting the food directly on there because then I got to be trying to scrub whatever is on there, baked on there and all that. So I just use the parchment paper, stick it in there, bring it out, put it on my plate and then I'm done. Let's see. Um, Kristen said, awesome. Thank you. Yes. T1000 said air fryer is great for warming food, especially pizza. It is good for pizza. And one thing about air fryer, I don't, I don't need no fries, but for anybody who's out there eating no fries, or if y'all make some like homemade fries or whatever, um, it's, or, no, no, not home, like homemade, you can, where you can use it too. But if you're somewhere else and you're trying to bring, whether it's a French fry or something else that needs a crisp back to life, Pop it in the air fryer. Those fries are going to be exactly like they were before you put them in there. So maybe some people ain't got no, they ain't trying to watch no uh, weight and then they still eat their fries or whatever. So if you want those fries to uh, come back to life, pop them in the air fryer. They will be just like when you got them from, or probably better than when you got them uh, from the restaurant. So I said, Gemma, uh, will you put it in, um, in on your community wall? Put what on my community wall, Sarah? Tell me what you want me to put on the community wall. And I put it on there. Beautiful Hill said, yeah, I use liners. and you're, Okay, air fryer as well. I did that uh, to be lazy though. Me too. I don't feel like I'll like clean up the air fryer every time and all of that. And a lot of people don't use the air fryer because of that. They feel like, okay, if I just warm up something in the microwave, it'll be in a bowl, it'll be in a plate, and I don't have to be worried about all of that. And that's true. So that's the reason why. If I don't have, um, well, I always have, I never run out of them, but if uh, sometimes like I freeze a lot of food, so I um, have it wrapped in aluminum foil. So sometimes I let it thaw out in the refrigerator and I put it in the air fryer when I'm ready to warm it up. And then the um, aluminum foil is good too. Then you don't need a, a liner because it's already in the foil. Movado said, um, oh, no, wait. Okay. Diane said, I put uh, my fries in the air fryer. Yep. <laughs> and they're like new, right? Hey, Shake Kebab, you made it in. Said hi to Gamma and Chat and Shalanda. Mavado said those fries will, or those fries will. My son taught me that trick. Okay, you know about it. Let's see. Oh, Shalanda's recipes. Um, she wants to know if you'll give me your recipes, Shalanda, so I can um, put them on my community wall. Yes, I was going to tell you that's what I'm probably going to have to do because when I say I got some lengthy, yeah, recipes, I yeah. got some, and they are very healthy. Okay. Yes. So okay. I'm gonna inbox. Um, I'm gonna inbox them to you. Okay, but that's fine. This, this one salmon recipe that I can put in the um the chat. Okay, that I know somebody like Tanya probably will like it too. The okay. uh, the salmon with the um, I, it's some kind of um sauce. I made is it. it a a soy, is it a soy ginger or sesame soy? So no, it's is not that. that. It's okay. some kind. I'm I'm gonna put it in the chat. Just okay. hold on. Okay. I got you guys on mute. Hold on. Just okay. Diane uh said I even cooked some of my vegetables in the air fryer. I cook a lot of my vegetables in the air fryer. If y'all look at my um go back to my videos, you'll see a lot of vegetables that I cook in my air fryer, especially my Brussels, Brussels sprouts. I do my zucchini, I do some of my squash, I do my Brussels sprouts. I do, um, I did my cauliflower, especially if I do buffalo cauliflower uh, to substitute for uh, uh, buffalo um, wings, like, uh, 
my, all I eat is uh, fish and vegetables, and I primarily cook out of my air fryer. So yes, vegetables can go in there just the same. Uh, Kristen says she used foil in hers. Uh, Charlene is here. Hey, Charlene, thanks for coming in. Let's see. Life with Abdul says, uh, oh, good, my favorite. I'm about to I'll start drooling now. <laughs> right, right. And let's see, Kristen. Okay, everybody speaking here. Beautiful Hills say yes. Um, let's, uh, Shalanda, definitely. Uh, yes, Shalanda, uh, I definitely want them. Yes, we're going to share. And so Shalanda is going to tell us about her recipes, but when it's time, my time, I ain't doing no lengthy nothing. Like, it's very rare unless I'm just trying to piece together a video for y'all that I'm going to do anything with too many steps. So a lot of mine's, um, uh, that I'm sharing today is going to be out of my Trader Joe's books. I love Trader Joe's. And they're going to be um, recipes that are five items or less. So I'm going to take the lazy route out. And then Shalana is going to let us know. If we want to really get in that kitchen and have some fun, she'll share those with, with us. Let's see. Um, Movado said, I use silicone liner in my air fryer. Movado. Okay, first of all, I should know that if they're saying it's an air fryer liner, that it should be good at heat. But I'm so crazy with silicone. I'm even scared to put silicone in the oven. And I know they make the silicone dish. Like, I still have this one recipe that I have to make for y'all. Um, uh, it's onion rings, a way to make, like, cheesy onion rings. I got to make that recipe for y'all. And I had to buy a silicone little donut um, uh, pan thing silicone little rubber thing whatever to go in the oven but i haven't made them because i just cannot get in my mind that this is not going to melt in the oven but i know that they wouldn't say it if it wasn't true but i have never used any silicone in the oven or on the stove or in the air fryer i'm just so scared but Mavado, maybe i'll try you said you did it i didn't know anybody personally who did it so maybe um Mavado, i'll try it I have to do that video for y'all anyway, so I don't know. Hey, good times. Thanks for coming in. She said hi to Ken. It's Shalanda. Shalanda has us on mute. She's trying to um, get us a recipe good time, so she can hear you, but she's just trying to do that. Okay, Chris is saying hi to good time, so yes. So, um, yes, that air fryer, it takes some getting used to, but you just got to, like, just say, okay, I'm not going to use that microwave. Like, my son had a 50 million reasons. He was my person that went and researched everything for me and came back and was like, mama, just do this. And I, he'll give me a couple of uh, reasons why, and I knew that he was for my best interest, and I knew he would want to do everything in the healthiest form possible, and he researched everything. So when he said, get rid of that microwave, now, today, I mean it. I didn't move as fast. The next time he came over, he saw the microwave. He took it out of my house, took it out to the dumpster, put it in the dumpster, and uh, went and got an um, air fryer, and I've been using an air fryer ever since, ever since. Let me see. Shake him up says, my old uh -oh. my old job, we did a Zoom, and everyone had uh, the ingredients delivered into our houses. We all got a Zoom and prepped it together. Yes, uh, Serena and I actually are going to... Um, do that as one of the things for chicks and chat, but that would be good. Uh, we should do this one for y'all recipes. Yes. Um, maybe I can come back and do a um on live thing for everybody to uh get their recipe, get their uh ingredients for a recipe, and then we'll do it together. I think we would definitely have to do it over a Zoom though, but I have a Zoom so we can do that. So that's a good idea. Shake them up. Let me write that down. So maybe we might end up doing that over on um Chicks and chat though, because we already had uh uh Sarah and I already had planned to do that together. So we can just also do one as a Zoom for everybody. Just give everybody like a week or so to get those ingredients, plan the date and the time, and then everybody who wants to pop in and turn on those cameras and actually uh go in for the recipe, we could do that together. Hit the like button, everybody. Sarah so says thanks for everybody who's coming in. Like that. Um uh, press that like button. And if you are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to It's Gamma's World. We have Heal and Thrive High Stepper Shalanda on the uh, panel. If you guys can go ahead and sub to her page if you're not already. Good times. Did you get in trouble? Wait, wait. What she said, Shalanda, thanks for that recipe earlier. I needed that after speaking with my dietitian today. Oh, it's a red wants to know, did you get in trouble with the dietitian? Uh, let's see. Uh, Kristen said, yes, we did that too. Shake them up. Okay, it's your jobs. Well, we did a group uh, chikori board. Now, I loved, I had bought two chikori boards, y'all. I was supposed to make something. Maybe let me write that down too. Y'all know y'all. I, I keep myself accountable once I say it to y'all. Um, I bought the board and I had 50 million ways I wanted to do it. And I have, do you know, I've never done it yet. So I really, really need to put that board into use and maybe 
Um, maybe I'll go live while I put it together. I'll pick up some things and maybe I'll do it live. I can go live, put it together. That'd be fun. That's a good idea, Krista. Thank you. Let me see, Sarah. Good times. Did you get in trouble? Krista said, I love that idea. Yes, that is a good idea. Uh, we can do Shalanda Salmon one. Okay. Yes, that'd be a good idea. That'll be a good idea. Uh, shake him up. So, oh, Krista, that's a good one. Yes. Well, that's a good idea, right? Shake him up. Sarah, yes, ma'am. Oh, doggone. Good times. Got in trouble. Huh. Okay, uh, Shalada went back out, so she's probably trying to fix it. Let's see. Hi, Glow. Thanks for coming in the chat. Yes, yeah, subscribe to Heal and Thrive High Stepper. Krista has grabbed that link right there for you guys to subscribe. You ready for us, Shalada, or no? Or are you just coming back on the camera? Yes. And thanks so much. I see so many of the members in the chat. Um, I appreciate everybody's membership. For those who have been gifted a membership, please consider keeping your membership after your 30 days is up. And anybody who's in the chat that, that does not have a membership yet, can y'all please consider having a membership to It's Gamma's World because I would really appreciate it. And let's see, Kristen said hit the like button. Yes. And if uh, Kristen or Serena, if y'all can put uh, the link to the membership in the chat. For anybody who's interested in becoming a member, it's $4.99 for silver and $6.99 for gold. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> okay, so do you guys see the, uh, I think I copied and pasted all yeah, of I see it. it. I see it. <clears throat> okay, so um, hold on. I got to go to it. I got to look at it so I can explain it to you okay. guys. Okay. So you're going to make a okay. sauce. You're going to make a sauce. Hold on just a second. So, okay. of course, you're going to get your salmon fillet, what, whatever size you want to get. Mm -hmm. And you will make that sauce. Um, hold on just a second. Let me go to it so I can hold on just a second. Okay. Hello, Indigo. Okay. So, this the salmon bacon pepper jam you um you're going to find that either at one of the whole food stores or you're going to find it at kroger if okay. you have a kroger or oh, it's already it's together as a jam it's already yes, it's, together, it it's together as okay. a jam okay do you okay. know if they have a salmon jam separate from the bacon um, it's, it's salmon. It's, it's called, hold on. Just, no, I'm sorry. Okay. It's called bacon pepper jam. I'm okay. sorry. Bacon okay. pepper jam. And then you're going to put three tablespoons of deli, Dijon, Dijon, Dijon okay. mustard. Mm -hmm. And you're going to, uh, you're going to do two tablespoons of private selection hood sovereign. Um, it's like this, this type of sauce that you get, you get the selection products from like okay. Kroger or like I said, whole food, you get those, um, products from, from one of those stores. Okay. So private okay. is the name brand. It's the brand of it. The, the brand of it is called Selection. Oh. That's that's the brand. The brand of it is called Selection. Selection. Okay. Yes. So what is it private for? Um, well, it's well, actually it's called private selection. I'm sorry. Okay. And it's it's like um something that is like an exclusive that be okay. in the store. Okay, so it's called private selection, hood, savory, poultry. No, hold up. Okay. Hold up. Yeah, hold up. Private. So, hold on. Let me look at my little um, recipe okay. because it looks funny on your chat. Hold okay. On. It's been a minute since I made this. Yeah. But I this yes, brand name. Okay. Yep. A uh, good time said yes. The brand name is Private Selection. She's familiar with it. Okay. Yeah. I've never seen that. I haven't seen either. Shalanda got some specific ingredients. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go to Whole Foods and uh, see about that. Yeah, hold on just a second. Let okay. me go back to let's see here. And please excuse my background. My brother got something going on back there. Oh, I can't even hear your background. Okay. Um hold up. Maybe good see. savory. Right, Kristen. 
Is it called Good Savory? Maybe Private Selection Good Savory Poultry Season? Hold up just okay. a second. Okay. Okay, so you get it's the bacon pepper jam. You're going to use um, three tablespoons of bacon pepper jam. You're going to mm -hmm. do the deli de Dijon mustard. Uh -huh. You're going to do two tablespoons of that. And then you're going to find the private selection hood savory. Private selection hood savory uh, poultry as needed. So that's like another product right there itself. Private selection hood savory poultry. You're going to use that as needed. And you're going to do, you're going to patch your salmon dry, of course, before you do all of this. But the, uh, the uh, like the jam and all of that stuff, that's like the sauce that's going to go on it before you put it in the air fryer. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I'm not sure if you guys hear me, but my... Um, yeah, I hear you. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, of course, you're going to pat the salmon dry, mm -hmm. and then you're going to make that, that sauce. You're going to put uh, some butter on your salmon, mm -hmm. and you're going to, you know, like, um, take a little, one of those little brushes and, mm -hmm. and put the put the sauce that you made yeah. on the salmon and you're okay. going to put it in the air fryer. Okay. Now, I tried that with um with with some brown rice and mm -hmm. I cut up some organic cucumbers and and that's how I ate it. Okay. It, yeah, it was really good and you could for those of you that don't want like regular cucumbers you could put like some kind of you know tanginess to it okay or whatever but okay. um yeah but when, when you when you make that salmon and you put that that jam and stuff on there right. that's that's all the tanginess you yeah. really need because yeah. you don't need to salt up everything it's not salt in it but yeah. you know certain ingredients have salt in it like you said Right, a lot right. of things that's hidden um, has salt in it. So mm -hmm. you, so basically, what I done was I used that, you know, for you know my tanginess and my my taste or right. whatever. But mm -hmm. those, um, I'm going to repost it so you guys could see what to go look for. You, right. You, yeah, I'm going to repost it. Right. It, right. Is, it is so good. It good. is really good. okay. I gotta try because I am a salmon. Y'all eat a lot of salmon. Like sometimes I eat because I, I usually cook it in big portions that I kind of portion it out and then I freeze the rest of it and then I go on a salmon kick and I eat that like all week basically. Then I probably won't eat any meat. Then I go into like cod. So I do that a lot. So right. yeah, so we have that one. Um, I think um uh who said that they have they have it at home. Okay, Shake Up says she think it might it might be bold and savory poultry because she has the same one by private selection at home. Okay, that's it. Okay. Um, and yeah. T1000 said cucumbers. Yeah, that's kind of different, right? T1000? Yeah. Um, yeah. Also, like, um, I do like it for those that like sausage links. Um mm -hmm. I do like the um the sausage links from uh what do you call it from um Sam's mm -hmm. and I'll grill them and I'll do sausage links and cucumbers and um like brown rice or, or like I I pretty much like to to venture out and, right. and do I you warm the cucumbers or you keep those cold. Okay. You keep them cold. That's that's the the beauty of the the you know the dish. Like everything else is hot. The sausage is hot, of course, um, and you know the the rice, and then you eat that cold cucumber, and that's what makes it so good. Okay. Um, okay. Just yeah. the the key is making sure that you put um, vegetables on. Making sure that you you put some type of vegetables oh, on your plate. And this oh, is what I learned too, to, in order to get full. Eat your protein first, eat your vegetables second, mm -hmm. 
hold up, you go from protein to vegetables to a little bit of carb and mm -hmm. put, put like with the carbs, don't put no more carbs than the palm of your hand. Yeah. You you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Because uh -huh. carbs is what pet carbs is yeah. not our our friend. It's not. It's not <laughs> a good about them. It's not they say there's some good carbs <laughs> out there, but I don't know none yet. So I gotta kind of study those carbs a little bit more. But I know that the main thing is just to stay away from them. And whenever you're when you make to your plate, another thing you want to do is make sure that the bed you are you have at least half your plate is vegetables too. Yes, okay. yes, indeed. And do best. that plate. I was also taught to do, do do the mason dixon line don't go over the mason dixon line so that's like half of the plate which everybody it, it might be hard for some people to not go over you know a certain amount but right. you know if you're trying to eat right this right here is you know your plate you're trying to at least get you know food like on you know half yeah. Yeah, and the, it's a good idea. I eat on smaller plates now because yeah. I read something and um talked to an, a professor about something um some decades ago now. But the fact that back in the day, let me give you a comparison about portion sizes. Uh, back in the day, y'all remember when McDonald's pack of fries was like this little, the yeah. dark soda was like this big, and so over time. We used to have plates. The standard plate that used to be sold was maybe like this. I don't know if y'all can really see. But mm -hmm. over time, they've sold bigger plates that are like this. So, yeah. like, over time, like, people are being so overweight now. But even the size of the plate has changed. The serving sizes in the stores have uh, changed. Like, the McDonald's soda, the large is like yeah. this now. The large fry is like in this big cart now. Where it didn't used to be like that. So, really, like, even in fast food, even in stores, the way they... Um, have their sp spoons are bigger than they used to. Some are bigger than they used to be. So it's like they are in food, this food industry with the with the food vendors and with even the dishes that we serve and the um, uh, restaurants that they we are getting bigger portions now instead yeah. of. All, all, that's why they always tell you you start with eating out of a saucer and usually people don't want to eat out, yeah. they just eat out of a plate they don't want to go to a saucer but i do have a plate it was the last plate my dad ate off of so i usually always just eat off that when i have my dishes but when i'm watching what i eat i just keep grabbing his plate because it was probably like about this big and i know i can't fit that much stuff on there anyways and if right. I vegetables then if i have some protein on there i'm good i'm not going to have room for like no carbs because and even if i do it won't be all these massive thinking you got to have a plate of spaghetti or a bowl right. of spaghetti when you really don't have to. Right. Really the protein, the protein will get you full. It will get yes. you full. Yes. So that's why um and with my nutritionist, she tell us, you know, she when as I was uh coming through the going through the um the nutrition classes she was like you start with your protein first and mm -hmm. make sure that you eat you chew to a certain consistency mm -hmm. and once you do that you'll get tired of trying to trying to eat up and clean right, up your right. whole plate and it'll give that protein <laughs> time to settle in and get you full by the time instead of eating too fast like take your time that helps too take your time yes and that helps gut health too. Right. Mm -hmm. It really right. helps gut health. Digestion. Yeah. Yes. Said, are, are we eating the rice over the meat? Or I think she means the eating the meat over the rice, like or on the or is the rice on the side? She said. So if she she is she speaking of the um the the salmon? The okay. salmon? Yes, yeah. Okay, so you're you're base so basically you're just eating it however you want to yeah. eat it, but mm -hmm. Um, like I said, it's really good with those three, though, you know, with those two items. It's mm -hmm. really good to me. Yeah, shake them up. Said complex carbs are the good ones. That's my thing, shake them up. I have to really sit down and maybe put a list on my refrigerator to remind me what are those Maybe you said they're called complex carbs. I got to remember them. Screenshot that. Um, get those. Put them up to try to you know get an order because I when I think of carbs, I think of bread, pasta, you know things like that. But it's carbs and other things that I shouldn't have. So I need to kind of mm -hmm. like uh, get a list and so I can keep looking at that and so I can memorize uh, for the most part what I should be having. And Sarah said plates are now overweight. They are. Plates they are. are. And if you actually think okay, I got to fill this plate up, it's way too much food. 
Yes. Chris, and you'll see the um uh the eating standards and fresh food options vary by neighborhood. Absolutely, that's for sure. That's for sure. Yes. Uh, and yes. the service says, "I just woke good." In the service, you made it in. Okay. Now, what were we saying, Shlada? Um, let me see something else. I was going to um tell you. I can't remember. You might want to keep talking. I'll I, I'll let it. Where you I got a job first. Was it, about, uh, was it about the carbs? Um, the size see. of the plates we're talking about. Not that. Um, let's see. Oh my God, I had it right there. Um, oh, hopefully you'll think of it again. Yeah, I think hey, Judy. Judy Mayfield made it in. Hey, Judy. Let's see. My bottle said snacks, candy chips, and fried chicken and French fries is my downfall. Yes, those. Yeah, the snacks can get you, but you know what? So many healthy snacks you can do. It's so many, yeah. many healthy snacks. Like even literally, carrots, yeah. ranch. <laughs> yeah, that ranch. Like people think that. No, I, I, I eat French. My doctor told me, okay, you really want to get into oils or vinaigrettes, not yeah, any oil. But my French is bad. But he said anything white is the worst for you. Whether it's ranch, mayo. He said anything white. Alfredo sauce. He said anything white is going to be bad for you. We're trying to wing them that's not used to going into, because me, I went into just eating, you know, um, healthy, healthy. It didn't take me a minute to do that. Some people, you have to wing them up, you know, wing them. Absolutely. Up. Yeah, you have to wing them away. So when I was helping my brother, um, because my brother was really, really, really big. Yeah. And um, he, he wasn't real sloppy big, but... Um, when I was, when we found out he was a diabetic, um, I just, everything that I had in my, um, in my cabinet that I felt like was not good for neither one of us. Yeah. I, I threw it out or I gave it away. You literally have to get it out of the house. You yeah, literally because, have to get it out of the house. because it's not fair to him. He got to eat a certain kind of way. And the person that's living with him ain't practicing the same thing. Right, right. So, you it's know, so much easier when you live alone. Wing, it is. Yeah, I had to kind of wing him and myself, you know, away from a lot of stuff. And you're right. Look at those um, labels, right. those carbohydrates, those added sugars, those sugars. Yeah. They right. be in the double digits, those sodiums. They yeah. be in the triple digits. Leave it alone. Yes. Leave it alone. Yeah. Oh my God. T one thousand said, "Our uh, ranch makes everything better." But that I know my son was a big like I used to have to big buy the big things of ranch because he was a ranch eater. He was for the most part he ate healthy, but when he had his vices, he had his vices in a ranch dress and definitely was one. But he didn't have a weight problem. He was really thin, so that wasn't a weight issue with him. He just wanted to be healthy. But it's not like. Anything that I really like, and it's it's nothing that I've actually. Well, no, I'm not gonna. It's a lot of things I eat instead of now. But it's like when you just start incorporating different things. Not mm -hmm. that bam, I'm never gonna eat ranch again because I today I had some ranch when I was at uh, Real Lobster. So it's not like I um that like I'm saying like get it out of your life. Don't touch it no more unless you just know it's really really bad. It's something real crazy. But moderation more. Just limit it. Limit it as much as you can. Just start substituting. Like if you eat, if if you eat it five times in a week, try to say, you know, this week I'm gonna do it three times, and I'm gonna substitute this for that. And then before you know it, you're gonna acquire a taste for that substitute that you use instead of it. And then even if you eat it, sometimes you won't prefer it, and that's a better thing too. Not to mm -hmm. say that everything has to be X'd out, but that's what I try to do. I just try to um, minimize the things that I know that are bad for me. And I try mm -hmm. to, um, you know, put more of the good things that are uh, better for me. And my problem is that it's so crazy because I know exactly how to eat. But if I say I want some pound cake, I'm going to get a Sara Lee pound cake. I just love the pound cake. And I know I'm going to eat too much, <laughs> but I'm just going to do it because I like it. And mm -hmm. that's what it is. But as far as knowing what to eat, is is easy for me but some people um may have never heard of these things they have never had to they never had a health problem yet or they never had a weight problem so it really wasn't a concern they weren't old enough to kind of like think of things uh in that way to care about what it is but the older you get the more you start caring about what you're putting into your body mm -hmm. yeah it's more important then you start thinking like wait what is this made out of and not to mention that foods are definitely not the same as they used to be 
Yeah. And yeah. try to um see if you guys could could um find out your blood type and you could do like um diets um that is based off of your blood types. And I know how to make a diet that's based off of any type of um blood type. Like and I've heard of that too. Yeah. And and I this stuff right here, like a lot of this stuff, it just was coming to me as I was losing the weight the first yeah. time. And I'm not afraid to say that my highest weight was at 403. Really? It was at four, yes, it was at 403. Now I'm kind of like in limbo, like 290 ish or whatever. I'm kind of like in limbo. Yeah. Um, because you know, uh with the surgery or whatever, um with the surgery that I had, um, it allows it allowed me to lose so much weight. But yeah. I didn't put I didn't put any weight back on. Good. You know, right. I and that's, good. And uh -huh. that's how, you know that I Hey, long yeah. as I didn't put any weight back that on the case. Is key. That maintaining is key because anybody could almost kind of gain some weight or lose some weight, but that maintaining is key. Yes, yes, yes. it is. And, um, uh, yes, yeah. Let's see. And with water, I, I suggest <laughs> alkaline water. I do. I mean, you could do whatever type of water you want to do, but I also, um, what I do is like in the morning when I wake up, I, I of course have my bottled water by my bed mm -hmm. and I drink water because that's waking up your organs. You're yeah. waking your uh -huh. organs up. Yeah. And um, before you go to bed, you drink some warm water with uh, lemon juice or mm -hmm. lime juice mm -hmm. that's um, giving you good gut health. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if you could try to remember to do that, that would be good too. And it don't necessarily have to be alkaline water, just, you know, water, period. Yeah. 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 Like I'm, I drink um, pretty much any kind. I don't even look to see. I just kind of order my water and have them shipped mm -hmm. uh, by, by the cases. But my preference is distilled water. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Distilled water is really yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let Let's see. see. Judy says, oh, well, Sarah so said, I guess I believe that following a meal regimen for your blood type works. And Good Times said, yes, mayo is high in fats. And um, mm -hmm. uh, she said, no oil for... Uh, when you're cooking, uh, or probably talking about salads, maybe just vinegar is uh, preferable. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Judy said also is what you drink. Yes, I was a habitual Coke drinker. It caused my blood pressure to rise and was burping all the time. Uh, was was I started once once I started drinking water and lifting green tea, I started losing weight. Yes, so many people, a lot of people just decide to drink their calories. They don't even have to have a weight problem, but when they put down a soda, they will probably lose 10 pounds in like the first two weeks because it has so much sugar. I got to find, let me put down to find that chart that I have to, I'm going to post it on my um, community wall. You will be blown away about how much sugar is in one yes. can of soda. Mm -hmm. it's, oh, it's juice too, because I used to be like, I'm, I've never been a soda drinker, but I'm like, I don't drink soda. I drink juice. It's so much sugar and juice. Even if it's a fruit juice, because one they some of them they add so much, but even fruit itself has a lot of sugar. So a lot of people say, Well, I'm gonna watch what I eat, I'm gonna eat a lot of fruit, but you're not supposed to eat a lot of fruit either because fruit right. is sugar in it. So that has a lot good. of yeah. sugar, it's yeah. a natural sugar, but you're still not supposed to have that much. So you still should be limiting the fruit you have. Like vegetables are just your friend, and protein if you're a meat eater, uh, protein, but you can get protein and beans and some peanut butter in other ways too. But if you're a meat eater, that protein is going to be key, and your mm -hmm. vegetables you can make your diet just that you will be fine. Yeah, and that's, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Yep. That's that because that that um nutritionist, she was I was like, how am I gonna be able to do that and lose weight? She was like, watch it. She right. was like, watch how you do it. And I was so oh my god, I was really on it. Like yeah. when when she told me what to do, right. I done it. And when I came back to her by the by then, um, let's see, it was like 
I want to say it was about maybe three weeks and I had already dropped like 15 or 16 pounds. Wow. Uh, doing how she told me to do when I first started out, you know, um, on the bariatric program, yeah. that program have taught me a lot. And people think that that's the, the, the cheat, you know, the cheating way out. Yeah. They make you work. You still yeah, got to yeah. work. Right. You still got to work. And when you when after life after bariatric surgery, your anatomy changed. So mm -hmm. it's like you cannot hardly get no food now. You can get yeah. it now, but you're going to be eating. And I don't care. I, I it, it's all good. Yeah. I put a muzzle on it and, yeah. and, and it's all good. I'm yeah. hey. They definitely <laughs> My nephew had it. And he literally by the, when he went with the program of um, because most, the average person has to lose weight before you have that surgery. That's what people don't know. They think yeah. you go up under the uh, knife and that's it. But you have to lose a certain amount of weight before you can even get the surgery. And my nephew actually lost 60 pounds following the program. Mm -hmm. And also the liquid diet you have to go on like right before the surgery. Uh, yeah. He lost 60 pounds with that. A lot yeah. before he even did that. I think a total, he lost a total of 140 pounds, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, but he did have to work. I was not just thinking that you're just going to have the surgery. But on the other hand, it can go like that because I have a cousin who had the surgery and no, I had an aunt who had the surgery and she had the surgery twice because she gained all the weight back. Plus, uh -huh. um, so it can you can't eat your way back out of that surgery. I have mm -hmm. a cousin that did it. She had the um, surgery. She never got quite as big as she was, but she did get a lot of the way back. So it is possible to eat your way back in there. That's why you have to, um, they, they want you to like see a psychiatrist first because they want to make sure yeah. their mind is right. And then yeah. when you have the surgery, um, it's a lot of work you have to do afterwards to, if you are serious about keeping it off, it's mm -hmm. not the end all be all just to have that surgery. That's for sure. Kristen mm -hmm. said she want, or was it Angela? She said that she has questions about caffeine. I used to know a little bit about caffeine, but I can't remember it. Can you remember anything about caffeine, Angela? I mean, uh, uh, Shonda? I would I would suggest not to um to drink no type of caffeine. Um, if you're trying to lose um lose weight or if you're trying to maintain a good well, if you're trying to maintain a good weight and you're at a good weight, mm -hmm. do it in moderations, please. Do it in moderations, but if you're trying to lose weight, I would not suggest doing nothing but water. And if you're going to do water and you don't like straight up water, get some um the uh the flavors, the 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 flavors to go in your water. That's the only thing I could tell you. And I I just and I believe that when you come to flavor that water, try your best to flavor the water naturally as you can. Yeah. As natural yes. as you can. Lemons. Yeah. You do any fruit. You can do any fruit. Um, you can put I like cucumbers. I never yeah. tried like a carrot or anything like that. Cucumber is about the only vegetable or, or mint is the only vegetable I've ever tried in water. But any fruit, if you was gonna go get a lemonade flavor. Just squeeze a lemon. If you yeah. want orange, just squeeze an orange. That's all you got to do. Just use those fruits, uh, those fruit, natural fruit juices to flavor it. Yes. So mm -hmm. y'all don't do caffeine. I get everything. Y'all hear me saying my uh, drink from Starbucks is decaf. And I'm not, other than that, I'm not a coffee drinker. So I don't come in contact with a lot of caffeine. And for you, um, uh, Starbuck, uh, coffee, like Starbuck, um, drink you know like if you like um a certain type of drink mm -hmm. um from starbucks i have recipes yeah so one of them i did post yeah on my, um my community wall mm -hmm. but um i have lots and lots of oh my god i got recipes for days y'all yeah if y'all want to do a uh, all natural um detoxing with um with uh what do you call it uh smoothies i got that for days just mm -hmm. i'm i'm just gonna come through just just putting stuff right right yeah right because i'm i'm here for it when <laughs> when y'all talking about eating healthy i'm here for it right like, for real for real right yeah. so right there, but is is the caffeine is it the caffeine or the sugar and cream you put in it i don't know Sarah, because i don't use cream I use almond milk. I literally have um, espresso yeah, and I have yeah almond milk. That's what mine is made out of. 
So I don't know. Um, I know that cream that you put in there is not good. I do know that for coffee, but <laughs> um, and definitely the sugar you put in it would be a thing. So um, I, I don't drink any. Um, I mean, I don't eat any alternative sugars either, like a um sweetener or something like that. Yeah, something like, I don't do yeah. like uh, sweet and low or equal or yeah. any of those artificial that ethanol know. type of stuff because that's yeah. just as bad. It's right. just as bad. Because really. yeah. it's supposed to have a lot of cancer, um, you know, things that cause cancer in there. So I would say um just try uh, the natural uh sugar alternatives. And um probably you're better probably better off with regular sugar before you get one of those sweeteners if you mm -hmm. have to eat it. But I mean drink eat it or drink it. But I would just like if people like my father actually had coffee with his sugar because that sugar probably was piled up this high in his coffee and then I mean and then it's a cup and then he put put the coffee over. He has so much sugar. So I'm just thinking anything is like just to wean it a little bit at a time so that you can acquire a taste for something new. Is important for anything that you're trying to make a change in. Mm -hmm. um, Judy said the caffeine in uh, the Coke definitely raised her blood pressure, and uh, she only drinks one cup of coffee in the morning. Good, Judy. Good. Mm -hmm. I just said I don't know, Sarah, because I definitely put sugar and cream, but uh, that's mostly all. Uh, that's mostly all the sweets I have. Okay. And if you're um, if you're trying to um, um, I also went by this like well. This is how I was like, I had it up here made up in my mind that I was going to lose weight mm -hmm. and I had it in my heart. Yeah. You got it up here and you got it in your heart to do it. You're going to yeah. do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um, I said she had the surgery too. Okay. All yeah. right. Yeah. Nice. I had the sleeve. I had the, um, the sleeve. The okay. Yeah. That's sleeve. my nephew had the sleeve. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is uh, interesting. I don't know. I, I guess I, I don't know. My greedy self, I never did the surgery because I just be like, I know I'm going to eat and I don't want nobody telling me I can have this amount of stuff when I get ready to eat. <laughs> so I want to always don't start taping off no part of my stuff because when I want to eat, I want to eat. But I'm getting so much better now since March 1st. Actually, it should have been, uh, been before that because we all said in one of the previous lives when I put out the uh, Healthier You Flyer, we said that we were gonna do things like this, like sharing the recipes and following up you know, with each other and doing some lives specifically towards this. And I gotta keep my word on that and do some more lives talking about the Healthier You without the emphasis of losing weight on it because everybody is not in a position where they have to lose weight, but it's just important for them to just try to uh, live a healthier life. And then when we're able to sh share all this information, it's a it's just a good thing because uh, people have different experiences. We have uh, doctors who may not have um, told us certain things and we can share that as long as we know that it's healthy. We're not a doctor or anything, but we can share experiences and mm -hmm. definitely nobody's going to say that raw foods are bad for you. So that's just going to be um, what it is right there. Let's see. Uh, Diane said, yes, I just uh, bought uh, Starbucks. St wait, Starbucks zero sugar packet for your water. Okay. Hi, OMG Luscious. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, so it, it can be a struggle. It can be a struggle. Some, some people can get it like that. Some people just are so set in their ways. It's just hard for them to do mm -hmm. that. Um, but the more you try to force yourself to uh, kind of at least try some things, you can kind of, you know, uh, fall into it eventually. So mm -hmm. as long as we start trying to work towards it, I think we're good. OMG, I sure catch this replay. Okay, what'd you say, Shalanda? I remember when um, when I done pescatarian, I I thought it was gonna be hard, but it's actually not hard. It's not, it's not to hard. do at all. Like I was on it, but I kind of got um, tired out with eating shrimp or yeah. um, fish or something like that. Right. I have to have a piece of chicken. Being <laughs> well, yeah, a pescatarian, you, which I got that coming up too. Being <laughs> a pescatarian is. People are pescatarians for different reasons. Some are pescatarians for health reasons. They can't do beef and poultry anymore. Some people are pescatarian because they just don't like pork or, you know, whatever chicken. Mm -hmm. They don't like it. Some people uh, just want, they feel like it's going to be healthier for them to do it that way. Mm -hmm. But some people are like how I was and my son was. He had me watch a documentary 
on the things that go on with the preparation and raising of animals. And mm -hmm. so my thing is where I can never go back because my mind is set on the what goes on with the animals beforehand. And so mm -hmm. it's not like a taste or a health thing or anything like that. It's in my mind that I've seen that video and I can't undo that video in my mind. So like, it's like, and I knew it would be like that. He, cause he um, said, he asked me to do that. I uh, watched that video like years before I actually watched it, but I just wouldn't watch it because I'm like, things gross me out really fast. And I wouldn't mm -hmm. watch it. I want to eat meat. So I'm like, I'm not watching that. So when he finally got me to uh, go ahead and settle down and watch the video, it was like pretty much over. It was over. Because yes. Go back. I'm getting to the point to where in I'm kind of tired of chicken because like everywhere you go, they serving chicken. Yeah, and we're eating chicken or whatever. Um, the older I get, um, and with me had the surgery, my stomach can't allow me to um to do much harsh meat. Right. Um, yeah, so the things, the yeah, same. so I got like a freezer full of fish, shrimp. <laughs> I got okay, some yeah. crab legs. Yeah. In there. <laughs> <laughs> and see, my and, thing is that I've never really had to have meat. I, in my house, I kind of cooked the meat because my kids were used to the meat by that point, or the, my husband wanted meat, but I never really had to have meat. So when you are a meat eater, you're going to mm -hmm. miss it more than a person who never really eat, ate meat. So I can see like uh, when people try to say, okay, I'm not going to eat this meat, but I feel like I got to substitute it with another meat. Then it's easy for you to get bored with it because you're used to having a meat with your meals. But I really don't care if I ever have a meat with my meal, so it's easy for me. But that's the struggle that some people have because they're so used to having some type of meat with their meal. As I said, um, I eat a lot of chicken, but allergic to shrimp, and I eat lots of beef, barley, any pork. Oh, barely. I'm sorry. Barely any pork. Oh, I don't do I, that pork. Mm -mm. Yeah, I haven't ate pork since 94, I think it was. Mm. Like that. Diane said, uh, let's see, they did my sugar. Oh, I'm saying they did. Wait. I they did my surgery for my diabetes. Oh, she said they did her surgery for her diabetes. So she probably was approved due to diabetes. Angela said, yes, I eat crab legs too, but I was mistaken uh when I thought someone said it was full of carbs. Was it all oh, full? Crab legs are full of carbs. I never knew that about crab legs. <laughs> my mom said, uh, I have to have a piece of meat with my yeah. You saw like so many of my family members when I come in the room, they like, I don't want to hear that. Don't get started with that. I'm gonna eat meat. I'm a meat eater. That's your problem. If you don't want it, you don't eat. They'll be playing with me to a thousand. They'll be like, I don't so, want to hear it. Don't come so I got some stuffed uh bell pepper. Uh, I got a stuffed bell pepper um recipe um with tuna. Y'all oh, want to really? So it's too much to go into the um the chat, the characters. It's a lot of but um hold on, I'm about to read it. Um, and this is real good too. And I want to say anybody else who has a recipe, y'all can start dropping them in the chat if you have a recipe. Go ahead, Shada. Okay, so you're going to get hold on, let me go back to it. Okay, where is it? Okay, so your ingredients is going to be, well, you know, two bell peppers or how many ever bell peppers you would like to do. You know, you could do one now, one later. Um, so two bell peppers or how many ever, and then you're gonna get four slices of cheddar cheese. Mm -hmm. You, of course, going to make your tuna as you know as however you desire to make it with the mayo mm -hmm. and whatever else mm -hmm. um the uh, also you're gonna need the celery you're gonna need red onion chop it up real fine mm -hmm. you're going to need dill pickle relish mm -hmm. you're going to need dijon mustard you're going to need lemon juice you're going to need chives salt pepper well salt use no salt mm -hmm. No salt, mm -hmm. herbs, pepper, garlic powder, oregano, and is it thyme or thyme? Thyme. Yeah. Thyme. Now, is this a hot or cold recipe? Um, this is a cold. Well, oh, cold. It's, it's kind of like like a melt recipe. 
So basically what you're going to do is mix up the tuna ingredients until well combined. And then you're going to set aside while the oven preheats. And then, then you're going to slice your peppers in half at the top. Um, and you're going to, of course, clean the peppers and hold up. You're going to slice the peppers. I got it wrote down and yeah. hold on. slice the peppers in half. And then hold on. My thing keeps doing it. Okay. And then what you're going to do is put the, um, the, hold up. You're going to roast at 425 degrees the peppers. Right. You're gonna you're gonna roast it um 425 degrees for 20 minutes. Um, and then you're going to scoop about one third cup of your tuna salad mm -hmm. into the um pepper half mm -hmm. and top with a slice of cheese. And then you're gonna place the baking sheet that into you're gonna place all of that. Mm -hmm. Of course, on the baking sheet, and then put it in the oven. So it's kind of like, you know, how you would do a tuna melt. Yeah. So you just get, put it back in there and let the cheese melt. Then it's pretty much done. Because yeah. You already cooked your bell pepper when you did it for twenty minutes, like you normally do regular stuffed bell peppers. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to I'm so I'm going to um, post that okay. on my timeline right now for you guys. Okay. Um, and then I have some steak, uh, some, some steak stuffed pepper um, recipes as well, like steak, or if you want to do like that, it's depending on whatever protein you like. Right. So where are you going to be posting these? So like we can look out for them. And um, then, I'm I, about I to for you to do all at one time. So should we just be on the lookout on your community? You wall? know what? I just need to just go ahead and just give this to all to you. So you, cause you know how to put it all together okay. and you be putting your stuff in videos or how okay. you do it. Okay. Let me just send everything to you. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. We can do that. And I'm going to go ahead and share the ones I have. So for uh, people who probably, for the people who watch the videos, I just start eating the edamame. And I ate it for the first time. I think it was on my birthday, but I did not have it like this. I've only had it like plain. And today when I went to Red Lobster, I had an edamame salad and it was just the edamame. It was not seasoned at all. So I found this recipe in my Trader Joe's book and I'm going to try this because it looks so much better than just straight edamame. And I think in the service was in the chat saying that it doesn't have a taste. And I agree, but I think I really like the um texture in it. I think I really like that texture. And so um, I'm gonna uh, try. Where am I in this camera? I'm gonna try. Um, try it this way. It's called gar spicy garlic edamame. And the five ingredients you need is soy sauce. Uh, let's see, crunchy chill onion. I'm sorry, crunchy. What is this? Crunchy. Chili. You, you got to screenshot that one and send yeah. that. One to crunchy, me. Chili. <laughs> crunchy chili onion. What is crunchy chili onion? Okay, I never heard of that. Okay, so they have a crunchy chili onion, uh, black garlic. I never had black garlic. I heard of it, but I've never um, seen it. Black garlic, garlic salt, which I would substitute with garlic powder, and uh, so, uh, salted edamame. So that looks so good. And I'm going to let y'all screen. Yeah, that, that do look good. Hold oh, on. Let me get that. Let me make sure I got it in here. Hold on. I got this thing. Oops. Hold on. Oh. Okay. Tell me if y'all can see. Oops. A this is so hard. <laughs> yeah, this is always my okay. This cannot be that hard. Okay. <coughs> okay. Y'all got it. If y'all want to screenshot that. Okay. Let me see. Uh, yes, I want the pepper steak. Angela wants that pepper steak. Kristen said, <coughs> okay. uh, just tried uh, to post my recipe, but it was too long. Oh, okay. Post in the chat. Yeah, that does happen. With, that's why I would say you might have to break it up because the, they only give you so many characters. So that was the edamame that I'm going to try. And then I have 
the um I have um oh the lettuce wraps the let well this says chicken lettuce wraps of course I oh yummy my yeah. favorite yeah but this oh my you know, god my favorite <laughs> uh shells none of that you just take that lettuce Mm, mm, mm. And I love, I used to love chicken lettuce wraps, but now I just use all the ingredients, yep. like the chicken, and I still have it. Hold on, y'all. So if y'all want that recipe, I can screenshot that. Can y'all see it? <laughs> there it is. Okay. And then this is the picture, if y'all want the picture. Okay. Let's see. Shake Up said uh a lot of sushi restaurants here offer the spicy garlic and about me. Oh, really? And it is so good. I'm making that. I went to the last two grocery stores I went to, they didn't have it. So I think I gotta go to a place called Syndex to get it. Now, this one I want to try. Can I wait to try? I think this one is gonna be so good. This is called what is it called? It's called cucumber salmon boat. And I like I salmon my life to death. So I can't wait to try this. That oh yeah, that good. does look good. Yeah. Can y'all wait? That looks good. Does that look good or what? Yeah. I can't wait to try that one. Let's see, yeah, that's the picture. Where did you get you say you got the book from? Uh, um, no, I ordered it um on um Trader Joe's. Okay. Five I'm, items or less. Okay, I might have to go get that book. <laughs> yes, and this is the recipe. Can y'all see that good? Uh, well, hold on. Let me try to center it. Hold on. Oh, and also, I was going to say, like, everything fresh, like, if you get deli fresh um, meats and stuff, um, mm -hmm. like, you know, get your meats from the butcher and stuff like that. Um, that that's also good um for you too. Mm -hmm. Just remember any lunch meat is a lot of salt. Yeah, well, any yeah. Prepared but moderations, meat. moderations, yeah. yeah. Think oh, about moderations. Dang, the light just won't. Okay, so hopefully y'all got y'all can see. See that good enough to take those. So those are the three that I want to share. I can I'm trying these salmon boats. I gotta unthaw some salmon so I can see it. Let's see. Let's get these comments so we can wrap. They it have up. zucchini boats too. Like you could do the zucchinis with like whatever type of meat, like chicken mm -hmm. in it, or um okay. poss possibly like you could crumble up salmon, make some kind of salmon meat. That probably would be good. Yeah. yeah. That that is real good. People think that like, oh, that don't sound right, but that stuff be good if you venture out. If you just try it. Yeah, if you, you try, try it. it. Yeah, yeah, it is so good and it's healthy. Oh yeah. my God, you feel so light. Right. Oh you walk on <laughs> bog down like you normally do. You finish eating all those carbs. They tire you out. Even yes, soon, that's yes. why you're like, whoo, I can just go lay down. Like, oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so does anybody else have any more questions before we end the live? Please hit the like button. Thanks to everybody who came and participated. And Mayor Shalanda, I guess you won the prize because you're the only person who gave a recipe. I had a giveaway. <laughs> so I'm going to put the names in a jar for anybody who gave a recipe so they could get it. But I guess I'll be sending it to you. You're the only one. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, y'all. So anybody else? Let's see. I eat those. You eat those, I am. Okay, so any more questions? I'll wait a second to see if anybody has any questions. If not, you guys have a good night, Shonda. Thanks so much for coming. You're up. welcome. You're so welcome. And yes, I'm so about to send you a, a bunch of things in your <laughs> inbox. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and inbox me those, and then I'll put them out once okay. I get it all together periodically. I'll do that. Okay. And tips and recipes, ladies. T1000 said, thank you. Krista said, thank you, Shalanda, for joining the panel. You're welcome. Yes, You're so welcome. And had a <laughs> lot of fun. So, okay, guys, I guess nobody else has any specific questions. Y'all have a good night. Thanks for joining the live. And remember, we got to stay on task with this healthier you.
So yes. the next episode of our Health Review, y'all got to have something to bring to the table so we can share, okay? Yeah, okay. says, thanks, see you later. Angela says, good night, beautiful ladies. Okay, y'all, y'all have a good night. Bye, Bye-bye. <laughs>